well well guys look at this weather today it's nine o'clock and look at the fog it's so it was actually so foggy that i didn't think i will see any trees but i'm very familiar with this area so we are actually heading to some of the shell beaches that uh, i have been to before and today actually is going to be a little bit different uh, we will go to an area where there is uh, sand and shells and then we will go to an area that is only sand and then we will actually will go to an area to find some shells the area where there are a lot of oyster beds so you will find some stuff around the oyster beds and you can tell i'm prepared i'm wearing uh, my coat my boots to walk on these shells it's not raining but it's foggy and you can feel it in your face and your body it's just like it's getting wet it's 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 heavy fog so today we are just uh, let's go and see what we can do here and now right now we are just walking and looking around and we see a lot of a lot of whelks here i'm not stopping today at every well uh oh uh oh oh the boat yeah you better not go anywhere we need you to go back so there are a lot of shells here so i anchored on top of the shells and that's not a good idea so finally i moved my ankle to an area where there is a little bit maybe more dirt under it so and i keep my eyes on the boat i don't want the current to take my boat all the way to the ocean and uh, i can't swim that far <laughs> All right, let's see what we can find today. You know, it's so relaxing just walking on these shells and then listening to the waves. Sometimes the waves actually will hit the sand. The sound is different and it will hit the shells in some spots and the sound is different. It's so relaxing. Like I told you guys before, I can walk all day like that. And listening to this stuff and watch dolphins go by finding stuff like this piece of wood not sure what it is it just was a piece of wood so now you see the pen shell right here i just walked by i've talked to you guys about it before in other videos really not a bad day it's a beautiful day and at least there is no mosquitoes or what we call a noceums or horse flies usually in about a month from now eh, you will have to spray yourself with a lot of bug spray but today it's nice it's better than rain and it's better than snow now you guys see all these shells here piled up here they get knocked all over by waves and that's how they actually these shells turn to sand eventually the sand that you see here at some point the sand was actually seashells now you see this one here oyster drills and shark eyes they drill holes on these things on clams they drill holes on them and then they eat them and that's that's nature now we really don't know what we're gonna find here today today is this video actually is short video it's not as long as other videos it's 10 minutes shorter Now the tide is halfway out, it's really not completely out, it's still going out. 
but today we decided not to spend too long on this island and get stuck so we went a little bit around it looked here and looked there and then we got on the boat and moved we moved because we didn't want it to get stuck on a low tide for a long time Those coal hogs or these clams here, they are they are fossils. They are big. They they don't grow big like this anymore. That was millions of years ago they grow big and they were really thick. If I come back in a month or two from now to the same area, there will be a lot of other shells here. Um, in this time of year, the UC shells, you will not find them in the summer. But there will be a lot more activity when the water is warm. You see a lot of uh, things moving, lots of fish. You see sharks, you see dolphins, stingrays, lots of hermit crabs move around. You see a lot of other things when the water is a little warmer. Of course the driftwood's here and I'm not sure what this one is. It's very light. I mean some people pick them up and they use them for decorations and all that but I what I picked today actually most of the stuff went back to the same spot. You guys will see that I will find something cool today later on in this video. Angel wings. My last videos <laughs> I, I, I collected the whole box of them for a friend of mine. Now today I just picked a couple of them but I didn't bring a box to put them in because they are fragile and they break. So I took only a few, put them on, uh, put them in front of my steering on the boat so they don't break. Otherwise, you know, they they can't uh, be rolled all over or walked on or anything. They are very fragile. More oysters and more oyster shells right here. So let's see what we can find here. Oh, look at this. Florida horse tongues. In one spot, you see the baby one? That has the color of the baby one. This one is in my fish tank here. But you see one side of the whole beach where there is not much waves found a couple of this Florida horse tongues. They look really cool. They can grow up to two feet. I have not found anything big, like, you know, like two feet, but this one's size I always find they look really cool I think if uh, and there is one more here I think if I really take it and pressure wash it and all of the black stuff will come off I think they're cool I like them now in a video here I show how the shells end up getting washed on top of the on top of the uh, you know oyster shells the waves actually it does that slowly pushes them up slowly pushes them up when the tide comes up pushes them up a little bit more and then and then we find them and like this one you see how they are laying down and look at the wave just push them up now as the tide comes in it will push them up a little bit higher and i picked up the shell and i looked in the back i'm like what is that thing in the back i'm like wow is a piece of pottery that Native Americans made. They made clay pots, they made all kinds of stuff. They lived here and they made all of stuff. This is part of the history here. I looked at it and I knew exactly what it was. I just didn't know what to do with it. So finally, before I got on the boat, I left it there on the island, maybe. 
100 years, 200 years from now, somebody else will find it. I just left it there. It's, uh, it's beautiful. I just got connected to the natives that lived here who had nothing else other than just eating here, living here, and they had nothing. They didn't have internet, they didn't have TV. This is what they enjoyed. This is very peaceful. I'm sure life was not easy, but they lived there. And this one here is a crab pot. I, I thought I would kick it and pick it up, but obviously, is connected to a crab trap or crab pot that is buried under this sand. So I decided to take my tool and take what I can. So I picked it up and put it on the boat to take it to the trash. Now you see how one part of the island was so rough and this is another part of the island and it's so calm and nice. You see slipper snails on top of this whole uh, thing and look this one is a uh, baby horseshoe crab living fossil they have not changed over 200 millions they are older than dinosaurs guys Now it's getting kind of a little bit darker ahead of us, so I know there is a storm heading this way. So decided actually to look around here for, for a bit and then get on the boat and go to an area where there is a lot of um, oyster shells, oyster beds, not oyster shells, live oysters, the oysters that you can actually eat. And I knew I would find some stuff there, some shells there. And what I was looking for is um, certain shells that I can only find over there this time of year. I won't find them in the summer. I will not find them next month. So I will show you guys what we found over there. And these are oyster clusters. Some people take them and they bleach them and they, you know, they will look. But I just pick them up. Put them back, and hopefully someday something will grow on top of him, and other oysters will grow on top of him. And what do you see in the back of there? Those are pelicans. They think I am a shrimp boat, and what they do, or I am actually a guy who, crabber, the people who get blue crabs, and what they do when they come to empty to check their crab pots. They threw their old bait out and put fresh bait in it. So guess what? The pelicans come all over and eat what they threw away. So, and that's what they are over there. And as soon as I get on the boat, and these pelicans will come flying next to the boat looking for, for something. They will follow me this time of year. They're hungry. There is not much bait left in this, in this water this time of year. Usually a lot of them they migrate a little bit more south so there is more food but this time of year they are here, they are hungry, they kind of beg you for food and sometimes actually I will be moving with my boat and they will come and sit in front of the boat and just move with me. Yeah, come about a month or two months from now when there is more bait they will not come close to people or boats. Now I found this shell, you see how it's cracked? And some of the seagulls, they pick up these shells and then they they drop them on top of oyster beds or on top of uh, other shells and crack them so they can eat them. That's where there's a piece of it is broken. Look at this one here. Or sometimes they hit them on, t on other rocks or on other things so they can crack them open. And that's why these things are cracked here. What do we have here? Oh, he's a whelk. Still alive. Look at the color on that, huh? It's beautiful. It's a baby one. Now we are actually uh, on our way to oyster beds. So 
and there is actually another Florida horse conch. And some people eat them. They, you know, you can, you know, some people take one or two or three of them and they make fritters. They make, uh, uh, and they, they make all kinds of stuff with them. Now I'm here on top, um, next to uh, an oyster bed. And you see the sea urchins here? This is a dead sea urchin here. This time of year, they are everywhere. I can actually walk and a sea liver i'm sorry i'm just changing the subject this one is a sea liver look at the color of it here if it's a yellowish color is sea pork this one is sea liver so the sea urchins this time of year you see they are all over here on top of the oyster beds and sometimes some of these birds will come and flip them upside down will start picking on them and eating them and they will die and once they uh, die and the tide comes in, some other things like crabs, hermit crabs, they will start eating what's left inside them. And all they do, they just leave that skeleton looking thing that you saw laying on top of these oyster shells. As a matter of fact, I see some of them right now ahead of me picking, flipping sea urchin and picking on it. right here look at them i can see them right there i don't know if you can see them right i zoomed them in look at them they kind of blend in they flip a sea urchin and they are picking on it now that sea urchin is dead now it will have some meat on it but by the time the tide comes in hermit crabs will come and will finish cleaning it you see they flipped it here And from the top, it has some white foamy thing on it. That means it was, it was stressed. And they flipped them. Now you see this one is, uh, is this one is probably, look at them. The hermit crabs will come and will start eating and picking on the sea urchin until it's completely empty. And there is another hermit crab coming in the back there to help clean this one here and there is more of them you see they, you see them laying down laying in there between the oyster shells I did not pick a lot of them I just picked only maybe 10 of them I didn't bring a box to do to clean them and to put them in there because they do break they are fragile and more here there are a lot of them here I could have probably picked hundreds of them if I wanted to today and you see this one here is not cleaned yet but give it another high tide and low tide it will be clean oysters very healthy and delicious delicious oysters here this time of year, oysters really taste very good. Water is cold, not much bacteria, and, the, and they are very healthy, and they are very... Uh, they, uh, you won't take a risk eating them this time of year. It's January, water is cold. They really taste very good. There are a lot of oysters here. And the size of them, look at some of them. Huge. Once in a while, I take some home and I steam them, or I eat them raw. This time of year, this time of year, I can eat them raw, and it's uh, and it's safe. I don't know what it is. Kind of eggs, something on top of this rock here. I'm not sure. And then I found this one here. I don't know this. Uh, I mean. I don't know what it was doing here. Usually they are actually in the sand, but this one must have been with the current. The current gets really strong here when the tide goes out. 
it got dark it got has some color on it being buried probably in the mud but it's out of the mud and sand so i don't know i don't know if it's um i'm sure it's alive i just put it back and here are my friends there is peter and there is lula i just made up names well thank you guys for watching please come back and watch my other videos thank you very much and this was really a fun day